remiss of me not to make mention of the fact there's an election coming up, and this is our last meeting before um, both the local election and general election. A number of our members are standing for re-election. Um, Ron, Dan, Steve, John, Ken, Marlene, Mary, Jerry and Jeremy, and I'm sure you join with me in wishing them all the very best of luck and hope that all of those are re-elected uh, to office. I think it's fair to say that um, at the same time, the past five years has been one very dark night in the Liverpool City region, a dark night that hopefully we're soon to emerge from. Um, one that I know that local residents here in the city region are sick and tired of the current way the country is going and are itching for a change. I'm confident that the country feels exactly the same. I say that because I know as politicians the next three weeks are going to be very exciting for us, elections always are, but um, I'm very conscious of the fact that in the Labour Party's uh, policy, particularly its transport policies, I genuinely believe what is being forward by what I hope will be the next government is the most credible, radical and practical transport policies of my lifetime. And because of all of that, not only do I believe that the next three weeks for politicians will be exciting, I actually believe the months and years ahead, if those policies are enacted, and particularly the reversal of the nonsense that was bus deregulation and giving us the same powers as London to craft a better network, to deliver things like what Benjamin was talking before, actually gives our residents, our communities, and our local economy a much more exciting future um, accordingly. So I look forward to seeing all of you after the election in there. 